Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Your girl is sleepy. As you can tell, it's in the morning. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how I incorporate protein into my hair care regimen for low porosity here, and also me doing a hot oil treatment. Um, this hair is in need of some moisture, like ASAP. So today is wash day for me. So instead of doing my traditional pre-poo, I'm going to do a hot oil treatment instead. So I'm gonna show you guys how I actually do that and the oils that I'll be using and how it just kind of transforms this really dry hair into moisturized curls and prep it for wash day. So if you wanna see how I achieve my hot oil treatment and also how I incorporate protein into my hair care regimen, keep on watching. I have not done a hot oil treatment in so long. I can't even remember the last time that I did one. So this is definitely necessary. I definitely think that you should um, incorporate this in your hair care regimen often, probably once a month or every other month. Um, because our hair just needs it, you know, uh, natural hair just naturally can be dry. So, um, especially into the colder months and as seasons transition. So it's important to incorporate that for sure. Um, now being that I have low porosity hair, I'm going to be using oils that are a little bit thinner. Being that I'm heating up the oils is also a good thing anyway, because I feel like that just helps it to just get a little bit thinner and more liquidy so that I can saturate into this hair. So first and foremost, I'm going to section my hair into four sections and then we're going to add this oil in and hope that I can get it detangled <laughs> because that's what's really important for me, getting my hair detangled before I even attempt to do anything to it. This is an old braid out. It's like two weeks old. Of course, I refreshed it a week in between and so if you didn't watch that video, I'll make sure to link it for you so you could check out Mama LA doing my hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna section this off. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this section so you guys can actually see my hair. Um, I have not done this in a while like this should be really interesting. Um, now I have a mix of different oils so what I'm gonna try and do is put them into each other so i have peppermint oil grapeseed oil and then i have this other um oil too that basically high oil treatments are great to do if you're like if you have a bunch of oils and you just don't know what to do with them and you just can't finish them and so i feel like this is a perfect way to use them up this is let me see what's in this oil this has olive oil jojoba oil rosemary i don't know why i can't see this morning <laughs> It's some good oils, let's just put it that way. Um, this is gonna be really messy. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of the oils and pour it into the other, just so I can get like a nice oil cocktail here. I'm gonna take this oil and pour it right in there. Well, this should definitely be enough. What I love about these bottles is because they got the nozzle in there, so it should be really easy. Let's put the application right in there. So make sure you have like a towel near you and just <sighs> Yeah, let's just get into this guys. So it's nice and warm pop this nozzle off and Whew, So you can see we got some dry hair Going on here, especially in the root area. So I'm going to that in there. Oh, that feels really nice. I'm definitely gonna need more oil. All this thick hair. Oh my god. So I'm mainly gonna be focusing on my scalp first, and then I'll work towards the rest of my hair. Nothing is happening because my hair is so freaking thick. <laughs> I put another bottle of a different oil in this hot water because I feel like I'm gonna need it. Gonna be a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Last time I did a high treatment, I feel like it wasn't this difficult. 
I'll pop in a picture to show you guys what my last hot oil treatment looked like. Like, it's pretty sad. I think I didn't, haven't done it in like a year. Not good. <laughs> but I use a different oil. But like I said, I am trying to recycle these oils so that they're being used because I just really don't use these oils. It feels so nice because the oil is nice and warm. It's really saturating into my hair. And what I plan on doing is even after I apply this oil to my hair, I'll be putting a plastic cap and then put like a heated cap on top just so that it can still stay warm and still do its thing. This is the more thicker, coarse part of my hair. The front of my hair will drink up anything. And this is where I feel like I have mixed porosity throughout my hair strands because I feel like the front of my hair just easily absorbs any type of moisture or product versus the middle or the crown of my head right here. It is something else. It's really just trying to separate my hair a little bit. I normally do not detangle my hair with just oil, so I'm trying to be careful. <sighs> my hands are killing me. I did my mom's hair yesterday, and so I am feeling it today. I don't even know how I'm even functioning right now. And we're gonna do a little 20 minute workout while this hot oil is in my hair, so we're gonna get some natural heat going <laughs> into my scalp. I'm very lightly detangling. I'm not going in too hard so I don't cause any breakage. So it's the ends for me that really need that moisture and that are pretty stubborn. And so I'm gonna do this section to show you guys how my hair absorbs oil and then I'm gonna do the other side off camera and show you how I prep it so that it can sit in my hair for a little bit. Okay, so this is my whole left side. Now, a hot oil treatment gets so messy. So you're gonna have some drippage going on like gray. So what I'm gonna do is just twist this section together so it can really lock in the oil. When it comes to hot oil treatments and when you're working on super dry hair, and again, if you want to avoid just that whole breakage aspect or just not wanting to rip your hair out, you can spritz your hair with a little bit of water. Don't put too much because you obviously want the oil to absorb into your hair, especially if you have low porosity. You don't want that you know, water to kind of take over or whatever you end up putting in your hair. So in this section of my hair, of course I did it on the side that is not as thick. This side is thicker than this side. So I used, um, I've mentioned in my other videos, uh, hair tea. So I had brewed it in here because I will be using this in the video uh, later for my protein treatment um, to kind of just wake up my hair a little bit. And then I'm going to apply the oil and then detangle. So I just kind of squirt a little bit of that on some hair. And then we're going to go in with the oil in sections <clears throat> and just let it let it do its thing. So just wanted to make that point uh, just so you don't have any difficulty with the whole detangling aspect. But I like to finger detangle beforehand then put the oil, finger to tangle, then go in with the comb just to kind of finalize all of that uh, dead hair out of my scalp. You guys, I have oiled up all my hair. <laughs> I am not a fan of these high oil treatments. I might need to figure out a better way. Um, what I did end up doing was adding a little bit of this hair tea like I mentioned before. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on these ends. like just to kind of soften it up because <laughs> it is real like you can tell how much thicker and denser this side of my hair is versus this side but I'm gonna finish up this bottle right now we are going to drench my hair with this oil one side right here and these ends that's really like my issue here in there but you can see all the oils that we've put in here. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. 
this should be really interesting so i'm gonna go do my workout and let this really marinate but these ends is not trying to have it i really have to see what i I have to see what I did differently when I did my high oil treatment last time. Like I'm like Princess Leia. <laughs> Listen guys, I like to show you the good, the bad, the funny, the learning, the mistakes, the all. So I'm gonna go and work out and I'll be back. <sighs> okay guys, just finished my workout. I think I provided enough steam for my scalp. Okay, so you can see all that juiciness that's coming out. Ooh. Okay, so now we gotta we gotta rinse this in sections. This is gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna go wash my hair, and then once I'm going into deep conditioning, we'll get back on, and I'll show you what I use to put protein into my hair, and you'll also see how my curls look after washing all this oil out. So. We'll be back. Okay, so my hair is completely washed out. My curls are looking real moisturized and shiny. So it wasn't too bad. When I um, detangled my hair in the shower, it was pretty easy. And it just, just look at that. That's a nice shine. This is with no product in it because now we're about to get into the deep conditioning part. Of this video I just want to show you guys my naked curls with no product in it freshly washed look at that like it just yes now my ends that's where I have my texture so perfectly fine with it so now we're gonna get into deep conditioning so when I do my protein treatments I always like to add it into a moisturizing deep conditioner. My hair is protein sensitive, as I've mentioned before in previous videos. Um, I have low porosity hair, so you do have to be careful because it's more prone to product buildup. Um, and so you don't want that protein sitting on the top of your hair, and then it'll appear uh, a lot more dry. So we really wanna get it penetrated into the cuticle. And so I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, I've found that I've used different ways to incorporate protein. I've used deep conditioners that, you know, are kind of protein um, infused, I guess you can say, that have ingredients that have protein in it, like coconut oil um, or coconut milk. Um, and that's kind of worked out for me, but I find that it's a lot stronger, I guess, that way. And so um, a naturalista, Kiki, put me on to um, this product called Real Protein Treatments from Green Beauty. She's on here on YouTube. So I put this into my moisturizing deep conditioners so that I can get the protein while also still keeping the moisture in my hair so that it won't feel brittle or hard. Um, so I put about, it tells you on here how many you should put depending on the porosity of your hair. So for low porosity, um, you put three tablespoons of the Real Protein into half a cup of conditioner. Um, the recommended regimen is once a month. I do about every four to six weeks or depending on if my hair I feel needs like some more strength. Um, but once a month probably is good just so I could keep up with something. But I just, you know, I kind of fall off a little bit. It happens. It happens. So the deep conditioners that I'm going to be using, again, I'm doing some cocktails today between the oils and deep conditioners. It always happens where I have like literally half of a section left of deep conditioner that's not going to cover my entire hair so I'm going to be mixing two deep conditioners that are pretty much running low and add the real protein into it so I'm going to be using the Tora Amor Upbeat deep conditioner I love this stuff this is definitely super moisturizing and then I have the Unicurl um, Aloe Mint moisturizing and silkening deep conditioner and so this is it right here. So I'm gonna show you how much I have left in both. So I actually probably won't even need to use, I usually keep like one of these so I can mix stuff together. What I'll do is I'll just mix it into one of these jars since I'm gonna be getting rid of them. So this is about how much I have left here. Now this deep conditioner kind of goes a long way. Um, it is very kind of, like the slippage is real. <laughs> And you will see um, it's very thick and at first I thought oh my gosh how am I gonna get this through my hair because it's super thick I mean hello but it maneuvers so I'm gonna put these two together and we're gonna mix it up do some mixology so 
I'm going to show you. This is how the deep conditioner looks. That's how thick it is. I'm just going to put it into the other jar. I was going to use this one, but I don't want it to overflow. So we got both of them inside of the jar here. And so now I'm going to grab this. Now I don't have, actually, I think, I think this is a tablespoon. Yeah. So I'm going to put three tablespoons as directed. I'm gonna do this three times. It kind of has like a syrupy like consistency. It's it's liquid, but it has some some thickness to it. I don't know, that's what I think. <laughs> so I'm going to mix that all up in this jar and I'll show you what the consistency looks like after. Okay, so now we're talking. Now we have the consistency. You can see it's kind of lumpy. I mean it's okay. I'm not really worried about that. It's gonna melt into my hair anyway. So all of that goodness is in this jar here. And so in another, my previous upload, I showed you guys how when deep conditioning my hair, I am now trying a different routine where I'm adding hair tea into my hair to kind of just open up the cuticle, get some nutrients and herbs that are in this tea. And then I add my deep conditioner on top. So we're gonna do that first. I'm gonna section my hair back because we cannot do it like this. As you can see, shrinkage is already taking place. So um, I'll just show you guys, like I have different textures throughout my hair or curl, curls, different curl sizes. I don't never know what to call it. I usually put my deep conditioner in the shower and the only reason why I'm able to do this on camera for you guys is because I know I'm gonna be adding some liquid to my hair to make it easier to get the conditioner through. All right, so taking the hair tea. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get that right in the scalp. This feels so relaxing to me. So now I'm going to grab a spoon of deep conditioner. This looks like cake batter or pancake mix. <laughs> and I am not shy when it comes to putting deep conditioner in, like you see all this hair. So I'm really gonna make sure I get in the roots get everywhere and then work my way down and because this section is very thick I want to split this into two because when deep conditioning you really want to make sure you get in there I'll even go back in with a little bit of the hair tea just to lube it up and then of course with my comb get those ends Juicy curls right there. Yes. So I'm gonna actually twist this. Cause I really wanna make sure this penetrates through my hair. So that way that can sit in my hair while I'm working on the other section. And doing this again is really making sure that your hair is getting the product and nutrients in it because if you just kind of slab your product in are you really getting it all are you really deep conditioning are you you really don't have to make it this neat like i don't know why i'm doing this like i'm doing a twist out but <laughs> i really want to make sure my ends get that attention because that's you know the weakest part the oldest part of our hair so I want to make sure that it gets that deep conditioner right in there, in that spot. All right, so we got some juicy twist here with the deep conditioner in. And so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a little hair tea right in those roots that I can sit in my hair. And listen, I don't like to waste. So you see all up in these corners, we are finna get all that. <laughs> all of that, never waste, every penny matters. The deep conditioner and you want to get the root the roots and your ends are important to make sure you get that's lip honey yes and it just molds and gets my curls popping yes look at that 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 <laughs> oh yeah 
Pappage. Not poppage, but Pappage. I don't even think I needed a tangle, but I will. But look at that. That was nice and easy to get the comb through. What? Who are we? See, I wish my hair would have like this wet hair look when I did my wash and go. But nah. We are twist out team all day. Not even more waist method. Okay, so we got one side of my hair down and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then show you guys what it looks like once I am all complete. But I mean, we are juicy. Juicy game. A. Juicy twist I am. We got all the goodness in here. Like, this is the only way I can see my twist is juicy. Like, wow, let me see, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay. I can get down with that. We can get jiggy with that. All right, so now I'm going to put this plastic cap on and then put my heating cap, which did not work when I did my hot oil treatment. I don't know why, but it just did not work. So we are gonna do it for this for a little bit and usually the protein I don't keep in for too long just enough to really get it in there and I'm gonna double this because we don't want no problems okay so we're gonna leave this in for maybe let me see how long does this stay to leave it in your hair for so it says time recommendation without dryer 45 minutes with steamer 30 minutes so I guess I'm gonna do it without for 45 minutes because I just don't feel like putting that thing on my head right now and it's gonna be just fine. Listen, listen, listen. What? I don't know what it is. If it's just I'm in a good mood, the weather is nice. Listen, that deep conditioning treatment, that protein treatment, that cocktail that I put together, so bomb. Like, today's wash week was great. Not that my other ones aren't, but like, when you really take your time with your hair and treat it like a spa day, <sighs> listen, like, my, my roots is out here shining before we even take this plastic off. Like, rinsing out, that conditioner was so smooth. I mean, I think the method that I even like put deep conditioner in my hair made a difference too. I really think I'm gonna have to start doing that. Like I can't just slap deep conditioner in my hair. I mean, I usually don't. I always do it in sections, but I do it in like four sections. But to put it in twist and really lock it in there, <sighs> game changer. So let's see these naked curls. Like, oh, look at this shiny soft bouncy rejuvenated oh we got a lot of water up in here i had to you know low porosity problems you got to keep that moisture you feel me so this shirt's about to get ruined but can we like oh my gosh we got to get a close-up of these curls we, we have to like whoo do you hear me and even my textured hair, like, we are good. This is amazing. I'm so happy with this. Oh yeah, so now we're gonna get into the styling aspect. So I wanna make the twist a little bit chunkier. I wanted to do a side part. I'm just gonna show you guys the products that I'll be using for styling. I'm really not gonna make this like a whole tutorial on my styling, because we were really focusing on protein and hot oil. So. An amazing brand that I love, Annabelle's Perfect Blend. If you guys never heard of this brand, please make sure you follow her on Instagram. I will leave the link to her products also in the description box. But I'm gonna be using her pomegranate and mango hair custard. This is baby right here, and then the leave-in conditioner. So obviously the leave-in conditioner first, and then the custard. But I'll show you guys the consistency of the product. So this is the custard. It's nice and creamy and milky great for the low porosity struggle 
And also when it comes to the leave-in conditioner, that sucker soaks into my hair as well. Very milky in consistency too. Apply that leave-in conditioner right up in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the custard. I'm gonna take about that much. I don't wanna get too heavy-handed with product. But just enough to get that moisture in. Nice and moisturized. I'm gonna go in with Luxox Curls Oil. And take a little bit of that. Lock that moisture in. Breakage is real, y'all. So you gotta really make sure protein is good just to kind of fill those holes and get the strength back in your hair. Also, how you style it. It's a lot of things involved, but it's all good. Let me get this first twist down. Juicy twist, honey. So we're gonna do this pretty much on repeat on the entire hair, show you how the twist looked toward the end. And I'm not even gonna do an unraveling, I'll just show you how my hair turns out on the weekend, which will be in a couple of days, and how my hair just looks from taking care of it during wash time. So we'll be back. Alrighty guys, so these are my chunky twist, my version of chunky twist. I'm pretty sure they can be even chunkier than this. We are done. As much as I enjoy wash day and, you know, we look at it as a spa day, it's still tiring. <laughs> so, gonna put these away. Well, I'm gonna let them air dry for the rest of the day and then before I go to bed, put my bonnet on and, yeah, keep it going. Being that I have a lot of breakage here, I didn't want to do a tight flat twist, so I just did, you know, as light as it can get. We'll see how this comes out. Because usually I like to do my flat twist. But we shall see. So I will see y'all in 48 hours. And we're back, guys. So these are my final results from my wash day and my chunky twist out. I mean, it's not, it wasn't super chunky, but I have nice moisturized curls with a little bit of definition, but lots of volume. Um, that's what I'm always here for. But my hair came out so soft, like, I love me a twist out. It's so easy to unravel. <laughs> and it just, my hair feels really good. It feels strengthened. The protein treatment, the hot oil treatment truly, truly helped. So I'm so, so happy that I did it this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know what your thoughts are on protein. If you ever tried hot oil treatment, how often you implement it in your routine. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you guys think of this twist out and I'll make sure that I leave all the details of what I used in the description box. So I'll see y'all later. Deuces.